That's all I've got. Where are you from? Where I'm from. That's all I have. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back, my name is Shada Campbell and this is another journal with me vlog. Ooh, I matched my journal today, I'm cool. Um, okay, so in today's video, I thought it would be fun to uh, tell you guys 20 random things about me, kind of share a little about myself and I'm gonna record all those items in my journal. And then I was hoping that you guys might do the same. It's just fun to you know, write down all those random facts that make us who we are. It's something you can like look back on in years to come and um, we can share them with each other on Instagram. I think that would be so fun, get to know each other a little bit better. So if you create one of these 20 things pages for your journal, make sure to share it. Take a photo, post it on Instagram, then tag me at Shada Campbell and use the hashtag 20 things journal prompt um, so that we can all get to know each other a little bit better. Okay, let's do this. So number one, uh, my husband Chris and I live in Prince Edward Island and that is Canada's tiniest island province, but I grew up in Ontario a few hours outside of Toronto. My favorite foods are avocado and cottage cheese. And I would say I eat that about, ooh, at least five times a week. Yeah, sort of weird. <laughs> My favorite medium right now is watercolor, but when I was in high school, I hated it because you can never really cover up your mistakes. It's not like oil or acrylic where you can just keep layering paint on and fixing things. It's very free. And that is actually what I love about it now, that whimsy, perfectly imperfect. Is that 20? <laughs> uh, when I was 17 or just turning 18, I did a bicycle ride across Alaska. It was from Fairbanks to Anchorage, 500 miles or 800 kilometers approximately. And it was really tough. And uh, I didn't finish the very first day. And I think not finishing and having to ride in the van, that really spurred me on to make sure that I did finish every other day. And as they say, it was totally mental. I just made myself do it and I did do it. And I, I think it was only recently actually that I really realized how crazy and what of a big deal that was. And it's really helped me in my adult life to um, push forward and do things that are really, really difficult. Before I was a YouTuber, I worked as a waitress mostly. I did a lot of things, but I was waitressing about 10 years. And at first I loved it. It was a fun job, young people working at night, uh, but then that did get old. <laughs> I married Chris when I was uh, 29 and he was 25 and we are four years apart. My name Shada is a Persian name and my parents named me that because they went to see a, a ballet called the Ballet Shada and um, it's a special name in the Baha'i community. Uh, my parents are Baha'is and um, there's a sort of a Persian Baha'i connection. I love tea, especially jasmine tea, but you probably already know that. Uh, one of my hobbies is knitting and Chris taught me how to knit and he is still an excellent knitter. And he also taught me Photoshop. He basically has to learn things first and then ease me into it. <laughs> my favorite movie is Splendor in the Grass. I absolutely love going camping. I cried when I got to 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. My favorite season is fall. I knit a blanket, a whole blanket. I was born with a lazy eye that I had corrected when I was a baby, but you still see it sometimes on the videos. I, when it comes to my art, I would say I'm self-taught. When I was in high school, I took every art class that I was allowed to take. So photography, graphic design, um, and regular art. Um, but since high school, I haven't taken any uh, classes. And I really believe that art is just, you know, practicing. I do believe in taking classes, but practicing nothing beats uh, just loving it and doing it. Hmm. 
Um, after I graduated high school, I went to live in Hong Kong for one year. I was teaching English and uh, it was such a cool experience. It was so great. Uh, but that was actually the year that SARS hit Hong Kong. So it was just a really interesting time to be there. I'm not really an animal person. I know I probably shouldn't even say that. I'm just one of those people that's like, oh, that's a nice animal. <laughs> I probably will be a little weird and awkward around your pet. I hitchhiked across parts of Western Africa when I was about 21 or 22. And uh, yeah, I think my mom's still a bit mad about that and probably wouldn't, probably wouldn't do it now, but when you're young and dumb, <laughs> I love thrift shopping and I am someone who will stop the car for a yard sale or even a pile of garbage that looks interesting on the side of the road. I've had short hair almost my entire life and my natural color is dark brown. I used to love hot tamales so much that I made myself sick eating them. This is like when I was like 28 um, and I haven't eaten them since. What are hot tamales? Cinnamon candies. They're cinnamon candies. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching today. I think that's all I have to share, but you should share your journal page with me. Use the hashtag 20 things journal prompt on Instagram and let's get to know each other. My favorite flower is a lilac. Lilac, 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 lilac. Lilac. <laughs> Lilac. <laughs>